Jesse, what seems would, we're not. What would you have done on September the 12th, 2001? What would you have done if you'd been president? What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate, a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? How quick they knew Lee Harvey Oswald well, we knew killed because, Kennedy. Because the people who did it were identified and we knew who they were. Well, then why couldn't we have stopped them beforehand if they were identified and we knew who it they were? It was a failure of intelligence. Everyone's accepted No, it that. wasn't. We knew before with Condoleezza Rice's memo on August 6th when it stated right in the memo, bin Laden to steal planes and run them into buildings. And more stuff is coming out now also, how much the Bush administration ignored the intelligence. It was almost like they ignored it because they wanted it to happen. Oh, come off it, Jesse. No, not oh, come off it. Every, wait a minute. Every war thought starts with a false flag operation. You can't, in all seriousness, sit there and try and make out anybody. Okay, let me ask you this, Piers. Wait a minute. Let me, wait, wait. wait. Let me ask you something. How many, how much studying have you actually done of 9-11 other than what, what the government's told you and what mainstream media has told actually. you? I was editor, I've been studying it for years. I was editor of a national newspaper. I've, I've talked and to people. we covered it in minute. depth every day for really? five, six months. Really? So I know a lot about it. Well, one then thing how I do come, know is... Let me ask you this you then. You cannot say that any member of the Bush administration knew it was going to happen or wanted it to happen. It's a ridiculous thing to say. Ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about your BBC. I have a tape of a BBC reporter broadcasting directly back to England talking about a third building has collapsed. World Trade Center Building 7 talks for seven minutes. All the while she's talking, World Trade Center Building 7 is still standing right behind her. It didn't fall for another half hour, yet they were doing a pre-broadcast back to England that, yes, it's true, that this building fell and it hadn't fallen yet. If you're trying to make out the British Broadcasting Company, one of the most respected news organizations in the world, was inventing huge buildings falling over, you need to have a little... You need to have a break, Jesse. We'll come back after the break and we'll talk about Israel and Iran. Are you kidding me? This is a fact, my friend.